Come on down to Big Al's this weekend. We having a big summer blowout on all our inventory. We got consoles. We got displays. We got chairs. Only 20 easy payments of 1995. 95. Need to wage war on a solar system? We got guns. Need to defend your planet for armed invaders? We got guns. Going on a peaceful quest to uncover the mysteries of the universe? We got guns. We also have ships. We got big ones. We got small ones. We've got some as big as your head. So come on down to Big Gals on the corner of Main and 2nd. Open every day at 6 a.m. Everything must go. Some exclusions may apply. Financing available. OAC Element OP. Huh. I should make a list. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so we just got back from Al's Discount Warehouse, and we're ready to install the new equipment in the ship that we picked up. Uh, before we do that, though, I want to take you through some of the changes that I made between uh, last week's episode and today. Uh, we'll start here with the landing gear. Uh, the landing gear that I installed last time, it originally looked like this, and it just it really didn't look proportional. Uh, so I just came in and extended it out a little bit, just like this and uh, applied that all the way around, and that seems to have done the trick. Uh, it looks a lot better um, that way. I've also uh, tailored up the rear end of the ship a little bit, pulled it in down here and tucked it a little bit up there, and that seems to make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more proportional. Yeah, I like that a lot better. All right, so let's head inside and let's start doing uh, some interior decorating. Uh, so what I have done is I have gone through and I cleared this out a little bit. Uh, uh, I went through and removed a bunch of the blocks uh, just so I could see how far we could go down. Uh, there's really not a whole lot of space here. I thought there was more space than what there actually is, uh, but there isn't. I basically have an, a little uh, alleyway right here, but as soon as I get rid of this block, that takes us outside. Uh, so that doesn't really leave us a whole lot of space. Um, but even up in here, uh, like we, we have a little trench right here and then down here, uh, but there's really just not a lot of space because that's the landing gear right there. So I think we're going to have to go uh, with a, a multi-tiered design for the interior uh, with the main engineering down here on the lowest level. And then this long flat area here was going to be where most of the, the crew quarters are. So uh, right here, this used to be a line of line wool. Um, so I've now changed it out to the, uh, to the accent color on the ship. Uh, so I think we're going to try to put some crew quarters uh, right in here. Um, I don't like using ladders in my builds um, on these spaceships. Um, just I don't like the, I, I, you see that kind of like in in uh, like if, if you look in if you watch sorry if you watch like the Stargate uh, TV show the uh, the Daedalus and the Prometheus they do have ladders that go between the floors when elevators aren't there but uh, those ships are more vertical uh, than they are horizontal so. Um, I don't know. I don't really like. I could put in ladders here on this side, but I really, I think I like these stairs a lot better. I find. Um, anyway, now that we got that out of the way, so let's uh, let's fill this in here. I think we can squeeze some beds in up here. This would be one, two, three, and then a wall. Okay, well, let's place it down. Let's let's see. Um, yeah, because we'd want a doorway going in here. And then a doorway going off into the bridge. Okay, well, let's try that. Okay, and I don't like that line right there, so I'll probably end up pulling that back too. Uh, but we'll settle on that. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with that a little bit later. Um, okay. Or maybe we'll deal with it now. Yeah, okay, I like that. That works out pretty good. Okay, so now we need to figure out where we're going to put the entrance to the ship. Uh, so I want this whole back area to be engineering. And I think I have my wings. My wings are, like, right here. So let's let's see what's on the other side of this wall. Yeah, my wings are right there. Um, okay. Let's fly out. Oh, I know what we could do. We could put it um, right on the front, right where that area where we built. So like right here, I think. Yeah, right there. All right, let's go and fix. Okay, that's good there. 
yeah, I think that that works out pretty good. It's right across from the crew quarters and right next to the bridge. So kind of like a like an, a civilian aircraft, not like a spaceship. Uh, but I think that that's okay. All right, let's see how that looks. Um, try this. Maybe. Yeah, but we'll see. Bring that out by two. And we'll bring the stairway down this way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it always gets more difficult when you get down this low. All right. All right, we'll go and get rid of this. All right, I think that works. It's a little bit closer to that piece of landing gear than what I want. I could, yeah, let's do that. Let's change it here. One, two, yeah, we'll do that. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I mean, we don't need to worry about safety regulations. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, so let's head back inside and we'll see what else we need to do. Um, so we know we're gonna put the, the room here. Let's close this off a little bit. All right, and let's have a look at the, the new beds. Are they in this version? Ah, they are, yes. All right, so let's go with Cyan and see how that looks. We'll put down a bunch of beds and see. And perhaps that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the cyan, I think. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. All right, so let's try putting in, let's see what some bunk beds look like. Let me find my trap doors. Oh, right, right, yes, sorry. In this version of Minecraft, there's only the one color of trapdoors. Yeah, and I can't stack them the way that I want. Um, how would I do this? Because I don't think I can put them in midair. Oh, no, I can. Sorry. It's been a while. Um, let's get rid of this wall here. All right. There we go. Okay. I mean, it's not terrible. Um, I don't particularly like it. Uh, it's okay. And uh, here we have some ladders, the exact thing that I was talking about that I don't like putting in my builds. But here we are. We're going to put some ladders in there. I do use ladder for the ladders for the bunk beds, just not for a main form of transportation. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to mess around with this room for a little bit. And I'll come back in a few minutes, and I'll show you what I have. All right, I spent just a few minutes tweaking this area right here. Um, I've added in some lighting right here. Not sure if I'm going to keep these. I may get rid of this one here because I think it makes the area just a bit too crowded. Uh, I also got rid of some of the, uh, the uh, st uh, smooth stone slabs that were right here and just put on the red concrete because I think that looked a little bit better. And then this is what I settled on for the room. So we got four bunks and a really tight, compact area with a little seating spot and then that style of lighting right there. Um, I think for the, the rest of this area here, what we'll do is we'll put in a kitchen slash entertainment area here, and then storage back in this section here, and then finally main engineering back in there. Um, in the meantime, we'll, we'll do work on the cockpit first. So it's a crew complement of four, so that allows us to have a, um, 
a, a cockpit that has three people, so the main pilot and navigator, and then two auxiliary personnel uh, back in this area here. Um, so let's lay down our areas here. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like from the outside. We're going to want to punch a hole right here. Um, okay, maybe we won't go with that design. Okay. Um, you know what we could do? We could do a quartz stairs. Yeah, let's do that there. And then we could throw down some lighting. We'll use sea lanterns for that, I think. Right there, right there. Okay. Oop, let me get back in here. All right, there we go. That should be a little bit better than what we uh, had a few seconds ago. Um, all right. We're gonna go with this style of chair, I think. And then we'll put the uh, main helm or the main joystick there. Uh, some of my ships have joysticks. Some of them have more computer style designs. Um, I think we're gonna go with the joystick on this one. Actually, let's do this. Uh, let's do a joystick there and a joystick there. And then we'll put in our uh, console right here. We'll try green. Yeah, I usually alternate between the green and uh, one of the shades of blue. Uh, we'll try it with cyan and see what that looks like. Yeah, I think we need to have uh, have the green. Have the green. Mm, I don't know. We'll build the rest of the uh, rest of the cockpit and then we'll we'll see how it goes. Do I want this here or do I want it? I want a back one. I think. Yeah, back one. Okay, and then we can do that there. Yeah, and then we could potentially throw a, a map down in that area there. So let's do that. We got an item frame. And then a map. There we go. Okay, now for these two other consoles over here, I don't think I want one on this side because of how close it is to the door. So I think what I'll probably do is an area like this. Let's see if we can pull this out a little bit. Probably not that far. All right, I'm gonna smooth, I'm gonna smooth this down a little bit. Yeah, it gives me a bit more space to work with if I do that. There we go. Okay, and then we'll put our other station right here. So yeah, it looks like we're only going to have two in the cockpit, two stations in the cockpit. Uh, but that's all right. See what that looks like. Yeah, I'm not in love with it. Okay, um, I'm going to play around with this for, uh, for a little bit longer, where I'm a little less fumbly on camera, uh, and I'll come back to you and I'll, I'll show you what I have. And here's what the cockpit looks like now that we've installed the goods that we got from Big Al's warehouse. Uh, so what I, I ended up changing this whole front part up here uh, to using the smooth stone uh, slabs as opposed to the, uh, the quartz, and then I did this style of station for... Uh, for the uh, the other person and moved this uh, heads-up display forward one block. Um, 
when I, now that I've had a chance to kind of think about why I didn't like what, what was going on before, uh, these uh, quartz blocks, there's not a whole lot of variation in them. Um, like there is obviously there's some texture difference you can see right here, but overall the block looks very white. And this whole build, this the concrete, this is one of the issues that I have with the concrete, is it just looks like one single block of color. Um, as compared to, say, the, the terracotta, which although they're, they are the same texture, the same color, uh, except the terracotta ends up being a little bit lighter, and then as a result, you can see all these variations and such in the block. So uh, I, needed, I just needed something to break up kind of the monotony of what was going on here in the cockpit, and getting rid of the white and moving to the smooth stone um, is enough of a variation uh, when I compare it up to the, the concrete that's right back in here, okay? Um, yeah, so let's go back here. So we're going to put in a kitchen right here. Uh, one part about the kitchen that we're going to struggle with is uh, we don't have a lot of we don't have a lot of space. Uh, we can't get rid of that block to extend. So we're either going to be looking at raising this whole section here up a block, which we could do, and that would make it so that we'd only have um, we'd only have a few steps there. Actually, only one step, and that might be okay. Yeah, actually, let's do that. So we can get rid of that here, move those there, and fill this in. Okay, yeah, I think that's a little bit better. And then we could even do that and make it a three wide. Yeah, three wide area. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, because the other issue that we were either looking at bringing this up a level or reducing the wall on both sides, which I don't think would have been ideal because essentially we'd be looking at an area of one, two, three, four, five blocks, which isn't a whole lot. So this like this gives us some more space to work with. Okay. All right, so what we need to have is we need to have a, a spot where people can sit and eat, and we also need a spot where food can be prepared. So we're going to have a wall here probably. We're either going to have a wall or an open spot. So we know engineering is going to be here. So let's throw this just in as a temporary placeholder. And so that gives us a lot of storage space. And the question is, do we want the walkway to be all off on one side throughout the whole build or not? Because if we do, the walkway was essentially going to be here. Yeah, okay. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll have this area open into the storage spot and uh, and then a walled off reactor area. I think that that's probably going to be best. Uh, so I'm going to build up some of these walls and I'll be right back in a few minutes. Okay, so here's the completed kitchen, um, complete with Big Al's uh, specialty refrigerator that does dispense melon. Um, these are just droppers. I got one on each side and I usually put food in them with a button so that when you, act, or when you open up the door, uh, it spits food out at you. Um, so yeah, a little kitchen area here, a little refrigerator, and then a little food prep area and a seating spot right there. Uh, so we'll come down here. Uh, the pathway reduces from three down to two here. This gives us a bit more area in the storage room. Uh, so we're going to do these style of shelves. Um, we're going to have the main walkway right here. Uh, so we'll put our next one right here, uh, right about in this line here. And then we can do a double, double, uh, double shelf there. Um, yeah, I think we're actually going to have entrance to engineering over there, so we can do that. Yeah, I think that'll work okay. Let's build this up here. And I'm probably going to go up a third tier. Or, sorry, yeah, a third tier. Let's get rid of that light for a second. Yeah, we can do chests like that. All right, now the real question is, am I going to do a third tier in the middle or not? All right, so we'll have to do, oops, we'll do this. Um, now, in version uh, 1.12, we have to use trap chests. Uh, we're going to put them side by side. Let's see. I'll have to go and look at that from uh, all angles within the ship. 
I mean, we're not going to be able to see rated domain engineering. I'm going to I'm going to throw up a wall right there. Um, actually, perhaps we could do that real quick right now. Let's get me trusty axe. All right. And right here, we'll, we'll fix the colors in just a moment. Uh, so we're going to do a set command. Uh, Minecraft, and I believe it is cement. Nope, that's not it. Uh, so let's look it up. No, it's not cement. Concrete. Yes, yeah, sorry, concrete. I always get those two mixed up. Okay, so that's not going to work. So let's do, let's guess nine. Not nine. Four? Not four. Fourteen. There we go. All right, now let's hop back and see what that looks like. Let's throw some lighting in down here just to see. Give us a better view of what the, the nooks and crannies will look like. Yeah, I think I kind of prefer it without having a third tier in the center, but we'll throw it in just to see. Yeah, I think I prefer it without, yeah, without the, the third tier. Uh, in the center. Anyway, I'm going to go, I'm going to finish up this area here. I'll throw up some ladders and throw some other things in this area right here. And I'll come back and show you what I have. And then we'll head over into engineer. All right. And here's what the storage area looks like. So uh, I did settle on just uh, two tiers for the middle as opposed to three. And then to fill out the rest of the area, I put in crafting tables here and then uh, some more storage back in there. Um, I've hit, I put lights uh, up along the top here and then hidden light down in there. This one's not really as required, um, but I found that I wasn't getting as much light up here as what I wanted with just that uh, uh, sea lantern down there. Um, I mentioned in my previous builds, I like to, when I'm building a starship, I like to have it to have usability in a survival world. So that's why I put crafting tables in there. And then I modified the kitchen with a, with a furnace right there. Now, I know I mentioned I was going to uh, build the reactor room with you, main engineering, um, but the video is getting a little bit long and I'm getting a little bit rambly. So I actually just went through and just did it. Um, this reactor here is a, it's a different design, one that I've not done before in the, uh, in the past. Um, I don't know if I like it. Um, I don't know. I may mess around with it a little bit more off camera, um, but this will probably be the last time that you see it unless you want to see um, some other modifications to it. But we've got a console right here, which is used to control the, the reaction in the reactor chamber. New fuel can be put in here, and uh, that feeds directly into the reactor core, uh, which feeds into the rear engine, and it's liquid cool, liquid cooled. And so I've just put in some water streams at the top on both sides, and then it goes down onto a sea lantern, which helps illuminate the area in there. Okay. Uh, so now we'll just quickly go outside and we'll discuss weapons. I know Big Al had a lot of weapons for sale, um, but I don't think we're actually going to use any. Um, so this is what the ship looks like without weapons. And then over on this side, I've thrown in one cannon kind of here on the front. Um, I didn't want to mess with these wings. Um, they turned out really well, and I'm really, really very happy with the way that they look. And I didn't want to sully them um, by putting weapons in here, um, both on top and on bottom. So I decided just to try one on the front of the ship. Um, I did have one over here on this side, um, but I wanted to be able to do the comparison. And I think at the end of the day, I prefer the way that the ship looks uh, without any weapons. So... Uh, yeah, that we'll probably end up going with that. Um, the really cool thing about World Edit um, is that I can copy this whole ship, make one copy, so have one here, and then copy it over here, and I can deck this ship out, the new ship out, uh, in a completely different color scheme or in a completely different um, configuration with new weapons, new interior, um, all that kind of stuff like that. So uh, anyway, that that'll be all for today. Um, this, uh, as I mentioned before in the previous video, this new uh, building format where I bring you along as I build the ship is a bit new for me, so it's bound to be rough around the edges for the first few uh, first few episodes. Um, I think that the building of the outside ship went a lot smoother than the building of the inside of the ship. So I think perhaps in the future I'll just stick with uh, 
um, kind of bringing you along as I build the outside of the ship, but perhaps not the inside. Um, but if you, if you did enjoy today's video, just leave a like or a comment and let me know, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.